you can leave your eyes open. I like the eyes open because the eyes open, you're aware, you're present. I truly believe that when you have a white all wall in your front, no distractions, dock, block the door, no kids, no pets, no talking. I have many, many patients that they share with them husband, family. Now I'm in my therapy session and you do online the Zoom because I see no distractions, right? So step back and note your experience about being peace about quiet your mind, about to relax, take a deep breath. So using the mindfulness skill of noticing your experience. And what is mindfulness? I am aware of that emotion, that talk that is boring me, it's annoying me, that person. This is mindfulness. I'm aware of that eyes open, present. I mean, the situation happened five years ago, but I can still feel because there are no past right? No future. They are the present. So, notice your experience, your emotion, your feeling. Step back in your mind and observe how you are feeling. Now, use the spotlight of your attention to scan your body and figure out where you are holding any tension. Can you do that? I hold tension in my back. A lot. And I know exactly why. And how about your heart rate and the body temperature feel like? Do you feel cold? I was feeling cold. I had to turn on the heater before I come in here to talk to you guys. I was feeling even during the lives, the, my feet, they're cold, cold. When I was talk about God, memories that they're coming into my mind, right? There are challenges. And what other sensations you are having? I'm going to try to do not move my hand. So you try to focus, okay? And scanning your body. If your mind wanders, that's okay. It's normal to get distracted. A lot of information. A lot of things to, be, to take care of. Children, husband, wife, job, driving, traffic, eating, right? Cooking, cleaning, organizing. Do not push any of your sensations away or try to escape them. Just notice them. I just share with you guys some of mine. Notice any urges to act. What is that? I want to go to the toilet. I need to drink water. I'm feeling thirsty. Oh, I need to scratch my arm, 
my back, quick, my legs, and I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> Those they are urges that show up in your body. Trust me. If you feel extremely irritated, frustrated, annoyed, you want to push, you know, hit someone, hit the wall, hit a box back, you have that urge. And the rush is what you want to rush away from what i just want to sleep and forget about that i don't want to think about that problem i have so many bills to pay but i don't want to think about that problem how about to think about the solution i make a decision for do not being debt. I don't need being debt. Just make a solution. I understand that I don't need to be in debt. I understand that. So, so. Notice what we're feeling like, doing, observe. There are any urge and desire to act, to react. Many times at the night time, I feel like to work a lot. I still have so much to do, studying, activities, online course to develop, videos to record, oh, that urge, that stress, that this calls me. So don't push that away, keep that around. You need that emotion, that feeling. Try to visualize yourself. See yourself. Make that payment. Working tomorrow, oh, but you don't understand. Tomorrow, the day 19th, will be extremely busy. You don't understand, I wake up 5.30 and still I don't have time. <laughs> so visualize that you, this is a real story about me. Visualize that you, you still have time. You still can prioritize what is important. And you understand that bill can be paid. You understand that your family member, you'll have time to give them attention, to support them. That friend that is trying to have lunch with you for very long, finally, you make space and enjoy the moment with your friend. You can be for 50 minutes, have a quiet lunch and enjoying the communication, listen more. How about that? Let me listen more. I want to listen. Actually, I want to know about this person. <laughs> it is peaceful, all right? through the consequence of what you want to do. What are the consequences? You remember that I have my old challenge about the online course, the supportive groups that I want to reach more and more. I have the female groups. I want also to reach the, and be supportive to the male groups, make the men more emotionally intelligent and mature, brave, stronger, like Daniel. Even just eating the right food for that moment. Skipping soda, alcohol. <laughs> right? 
overeating like bread, sweet, sugar that make you lazy, does not help you to process your mind accurately, the alcohol, drug, substance abuse, doesn't matter which one, if it's legal, it's not illegal, for God, it's not legal. In California, there are certain ones that they are legal, but in the United States is a federal illegal drug. Right? I don't have to do what, I, what everybody else is doing. I just have to do what is good for me. So in the fast of Daniel, I can stop drinking for a while. I can stop do any kind of, you know, um, overeating anything that is controlling me. I decide, I make a decision to skip that food, that drinking. Hmm, I don't care. I can also include the TV. You know what? I'm not watching Netflix. Those TV shows, soap opera. Those violent movies. That, you know what? That kind of make me more violent. <laughs> I don't want to... I can skip the news at the morning. I make this kind I make this kind of commitment so I don't have to be get involved and be in bad mood during the day about the bad news that going on in the world that make me so upset and negative. So let me see here. Let me reconnect my internet. It's good. It's good in here. Okay, both screens. So remember, when you are stressed out, the immediate positive consequence of actions like yelling, being reactive, using, I mentioned before, drinking a lot and using substance abuse, even the pen pills. Sometimes people, they are addicted to aspirin. I know people that they have two aspirins at one time, but excuse me, one aspirin will work enough. Be aware of the addictive behavior. Throwing things, a lot of people that they are borderline, bipolar, they throw things, they, they smash things, they want to, to destroy things. That could happen with females. If they don't, they are not emotionally intelligent. But remember, each of us, you are read vitamins of another vitamins, right? You're raised by vitamins. <laughs> right? So, commendador, and I didn't know why. Commendador, you are commendador. Like the, that book, the, the, that red book, what the name? Commander, the commanders. How, what the name of that book? That the war. Um, that the females. They also they they are part of the the exército. The war. They are in the front, right? They are making decisions. What well, the name of that book? Really short book. Uh, I forgot. I have this book, but whatever. Commander, the commander is the one that tell people what to do, organize, they are leaders, right? So, pretty, so anything that sounds extremely attractive to you, but you know cause negative consequence to your life. Okay, you know, you know those behaviors, right? You know those behaviors that they cause negative consequence to your life. So that's it. So guys, for today, I did an exercise. Look at how much, right? So it was wonderful to be here. God bless you all. Stay with me. Follow me on my YouTube, my Insta, Facebook. And let's spread the God's word and the emotional intelligence. Okay? With psychotherapies. God be with you, okay?
Oh, soap opera? Okay, commented. I don't know. I don't know which one is. Oh, great. You have people that work it for you. Okay, great. So, guys, hearts. Why did you, why are you so short in hearts? Give him a heart. Give me hearts, please. Why are, why are you so short in hearts? Okay. Why are you so short in hearts? Hmm? Thank you. More, guys, more. I cannot live this, this life without many hearts, guys, seriously. And you must share those lives with someone next time. Can you do that, please? Thank you, more, more, more. Yes, yes, yes. So they know. They know there are, there are people in here, right? I will help you to make a set. Thank you. And don't go down, spread the message in social media. It's difficult. It's not easy to spread a message, but it's possible and I'm not afraid anymore. I don't care. I speak English with accent and my call is here to United States, England, Australia, people that can understand English. Of course, I started also Insta and Facebook in Portuguese and in Spanish. <laughs> All right, I speak five languages, but my call is for United States. Uh, for this reason, I'm about to become a citizen, right? But sharing the lessons, what I have learned, being Brazilian, because I'm a Brazilian for important reasons, right? And maybe it's exactly for that, because in Brazil, uh, we used to uh, have so many beliefs about what is God, and which gods, godness, and the confused information, also the slavery, they are human sacrifice. I know, should not talk about that right yet. Don't want to scare you. Did you heard something? Is that what you're saying? Because I was moving this one mic away. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, exactly. Great. So he is saying some emotional problems. Okay, makes sense. Okay, that's okay that you are, you are saying you are saying in, in Portuguese. That's okay. I'm just I speak in English because I want the algorithm to recognize it and uh, is it is about that? Spread the, the, the word of the Lord and the emotional intelligence, the psychotherapist. Charlie Chaplin, yeah, I read about him. Mm -hmm. Guys, you never know, right? What actually happened to him? Uh, he finally got involved with one woman and married her, right? and had children, but not with the previous relationships. So, um, there are certain, a human, women and man, we should control our